Grebel Force is uh, formed with two watchmakers at the head, Robert Grebel and myself. Uh, we met uh, during the early 1990s working in the watch industry in Switzerland on high-end mechanical complicated wristwatches. Um, English, at the very beginning when I came to Switzerland, I could hardly speak French. We worked together more closely over the following years on different projects and we found we shared a similar vision. This gave us the motivation to start working together. The beginning of Grubel Forsey was in 1999. The whole idea was not to accept that everything has already been invented in watchmaking. We do have our page in the history of watchmaking to write. Robert and I didn't seek to try and compete with other watch brands. Uh, there are, there's so much choice for whatever people need today. We wanted to create uh, something which brought together the invention and which was really a vehicle for the invention itself. Watchmaking for Global Force is a rare mixture of art, science and mechanics. Grupal Forcey has been able to launch four fundamental inventions. The double to beyond 30 degrees, the quadruple differential to Bjorn, the Torbjorn 24 second inclined, and in 2007, a regulating innovative mechanism. The double Torbjorn 30 degrees is Grupal Forcey's first launch. We wanted to create something which brought together the invention, but also to put back into value the high level of finish uh, which is in the tradition of hand watchmaking. The tourbillon mechanism was invented a little over two centuries ago for the pocket watch. Robert and I realized that we could find a new solution for the wristwatch around the tourbillon idea. There are two cages, one inside the other, the first inner cage has the timekeeping base of the watch inside. This cage is then mounted at an angle of 30 degrees inside the outside cage. The tourbillon enables us to use gravity to average out minuscule differences in timekeeping. The artistic side of watchmaking comes about through the hand finishing we have used and revived an old technique called frosting. Uh, this is a technique which can only be done by hand finishing. You cannot do it in industrial manufacturing uh, mass concept. The bridge must be carefully prepared, the surface must be very, very finely polished. The frosting is uh, done with a brush and it attacks the surface, making a, a mottled effect uh, on top of the bridge. And after that, then we can decorate the rest of the bridge. Then we top that off with jade gold finish, which was used in the 18th and 19th century in France and in England. The detail of the hand finishing, which is very intensive and pushed to a high limit, also uh, creates a very unique object. You usually associate art with rarity, and if you look at a Grubel Forcey timepiece, it is rare because of the invention. We can only make a few tens of uh, timepieces each year. If we take the double to beyond 30 degrees, for example, we are looking at one to two pieces per month. Uh, from the initial concept through the CAD design simulation stage, we could be looking at uh, perhaps one year to 18 months from there within three years before we have a really functioning prototype and through the small number of timepieces we can make to really bring a, an exceptional object to a small number of fortunate connoisseurs and collectors. The people who would be interested in a Global Forcey watch will already be watch collectors with a high level of knowledge about mechanical watches. The most fantastic achievement we have today is a young dynamic team of uh, passionate professionals to be able to make our timepieces. A quarter of the whole team of Global Forcey are dedicated just to hand finishing the components for the movements. 
having a sound experience 20 years each. We've been able to really redraw the whole map and structure of the company using the latest technology, techniques, uh, and combining that with the purest, highest traditions. The aim of making a Ruble 4C piece is always to surpass existing accomplishments, so as to enter uncharted territory. There's a lot to do, and every day is a new uh, adventure, so uh, we don't have much time to sit and admire what we've been doing. We're always working on uh, what we need to do for tomorrow.